I'm Kairona and this is Shiana. She's very sleepy. <laughs> she should be hungry, but she's just chilling. And Sienna is how many days old? She is 14 days old, 15 days today, I guess, tonight. <gasps> okay, she's a very happy little chick. <laughs> happy little chick. And Sienna was born here at home? She was, downstairs. We have a special space down there, it's my healing room actually, so she was born amidst the crystals and the candles and beautiful music playing that's actually playing now. And Sienna is a hypnobirthing baby? She is a hypnobirthing baby, which worked wonderfully well. It works! <laughs> Proven three times over. <laughs> So without the hypnobirthing preparation, she probably would have been a hospital baby just because of a few technical hitches with my body catching up due to past operations that I'd forgotten about, but, but we were able to work through that, which was great. And so the first birth was a, lotus, uh, a water birth and a proper hypnobirth because I had time to really prepare and get in the groove because it was slower. <laughs> Smile. That's right, it was. It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> and um, it, was it was an amazing experience. It was so beautiful and my partner was so beautiful and we had the whole family there for that one. So the kids got to experience a, a beautiful labour all the way to the third phase when it stopped really, which is... Mm. Yeah. Oh, and she's uh, having a happy dream. <laughs> um, and that was really great because the girls actually afterwards, two of them in particular, said, I can't wait to have a baby now. Which is a massive change from, oh my gosh, it's going to be horrendous. Do you think then the girls attending the hypnobirthing class helped? Oh, massively. That was amazing, the difference mm. in one hour from dragging them almost there under sufferance because they were going to see blood and guts and gore and oh don't do it to me and they were terrified and their arms were crossed <laughs> and their legs were crossed and they huddled together in horror <laughs> and they came out again with this amazing attitude of wow that was beautiful and, and it made a big impact on your partner yeah sitting through the classes yeah and supporting you and learning about the hypnobirthing method yeah He's been a sponge for the last 12 months for all this stuff, seriously, he just loves it. <laughs> and it's very um, synergistic, I think, mm. he's naturally, naturally that way. I mean, mm. his beliefs about mothering and, and mm. child rearing are very aligned with hypnobirthing anyway. You know, he gets quite passionate about the fact that women are being terrorised in, in where even when babies are born, what you can and can't do, like you know, you can break them so easily mm. with so many things. So, I yeah, certainly resonated strongly with him. Tell me, what was the most interesting or important thing that you learnt from hypnobirthing? It was really reconnecting to your right to have a baby naturally. I think not that I didn't have unnatural births last time, but actually just the the recognition and it, and I was aware of it, but on a deeper level, on a on a soul level, and on a subconscious level, that it is natural and it's not a medical emergency, and I can do this even you know even at 40. I didn't think that was a problem from day one, but every person was telling me from the moment I got pregnant that this was a bit of a disaster and we had a major problem on our hands. <laughs> which you know, luckily I've sort of disconnected mm. from the medical system enough to laugh at that, but mm. it's still at the, constantly being given to you by everyone. It, and not meant to be in a negative way necessarily, but I just found such strength in that. And, and as you know, so many, um, because I'd had children a long time, 17, 18 years ago, and, and my life circumstances were very different mm. then, and it wasn't a supportive home environment or a supportive emotional environment. Um, so despite the fact that my two children were born you know, in a hospital but well, um, 
there was a lot of emotional stuff for me more than anything that I had to work through. And I was aware of that, but it just came at me at unexpected moments. <laughs> so luckily with Marilyn, with you, I was able to work through a lot of that stuff as well. And mm. and the, the beautiful opportunity to have three labours, <laughs> three different labours over two and a half weeks, um, allowed me again to work through a whole heap of stuff that I was unaware of. So it was absolutely perfect, really. Um, and I get that. And it showed me a whole heap of different ways to apply the hypnobirthing mm. because the first time was literally the lay, lazing back in a recliner chair mm. and meditating in my favourite chair and, and the peaceful approach. And then the second time needed to be more active because we had to do some other stuff. And mm. the third time was a combination of both, really. It's good. Very good. I did it was an amazing thing. She's to, beautiful. To be there to do that for our um, sixth child. <laughs> <laughs> to finally be there and have that blessing. It's amazing. Is it tears good? were shed. <laughs> What manly tears? Oh, of course. Uh, cry like a man always. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I envisioned feeling her or, or looking, um, and I was given that option, but I was too concentrating on other things. I was like, it's not good. I was very aware in my head exactly where she was. I can see it anyway, strangely enough. And that's the way it was with my other two, so that was um, good. And the placenta? What was going on there? <sighs> that took a bit of effort actually. It took four hours to have her and two hours to birth my placenta. <laughs> so she was very connected to us and we were all very connected because we were doing the lotus birth. So, <laughs> so we were stuck together. In, I guess it necessitated good bonding for two hours. <laughs> which, um, yeah, was really uh, good. I, didn't seem to have much mus muscles left I had to have mm. a rest and so she could fit on my stomach and did manage to did she manage to fit? I think so I mm. think she fed um, and we just sat there I did need to give her to Darren for a while so he sort of sat in between my legs with the placenta cord and the baby really closely connected because we were stuck together um, yeah for two whole hours and in the end we did need to give it a little bit of extra help just so I could find my muscles because mm. they were a bit lost um, and I didn't realize that how did it, it wasn't in the uterus or something it had come out already so I needed to use mm. actual muscles to push it out and not assert this because my yeah. uterus had already contracted it was just sitting there but it was apparently very big so <laughs> yeah so um, it was beautiful though and then we did the ceremony, the lotus birth ceremony, and that was really, really special. And she was so chilled out. Mm. She did do a squawk when she first came out, actually. Um, so it wasn't the I'm coming out and going, hello, peace. She, she did a good squawk. And then she was just zen and talked to us for four or five hours till we came upstairs. And then, uh, and then she talked to her brothers and sisters on our bed for another couple of hours so she had a big day <laughs> yes, she was really conscious really awake it was kind of amazing and it spun them out as well that she was sitting there talking and, and moving her head and looking around mm. um, yeah that was cool I'm talking about being awake um, as she was as she was birthing her um, on the final she finally came out her eyes were open and uh, she grabbed hold of my finger yeah Cool. <laughs> it was straight away, it was amazing. And, uh, and she was just looking around and, and relaxed. And she let us know that she's got lungs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as you can probably, you'll probably see in some of the other video, mm. that she was really, really relaxed during the whole process. And the lotus birth um, was quite an amazing energetic experience because we we'd read about it and obviously from that we decided it wasn't something we could do to do it the old-fashioned way anymore because it was just horrendous once you've read mm. the other stuff and you really get that to, mm. to go there. Darren always said 
I always wanted to cut my baby's cords and the doctors always pushed me out of the way at the last minute. And now that I can do it, I don't wouldn't. It's the last thing on earth I'd do. So that was kind of funny. So we went up a notch and he received the baby, so that was good. And the midwife was great. She didn't even step in. She stayed right back and just guided him. Her cord was around her foot. So I, I believe, I didn't see that, but mm. needed to unhook her foot. Um, Hypnobirthing is an absolutely fantastic, beautiful way to reconnect and to birth a baby. I would recommend it for absolutely everyone. It's, it's so necessary to get back to that and it's so empowering. Even if there's a few technical hitches, it allows you to deal with that so well anyway and you're prepared for that. And I just think the ability to birth a baby and give a baby a beautiful, peaceful, sacred birth is so important now, more so than ever before, I think, because the world's changing and it needs to. So. And Darren, for Dad? For Dad? Well, it was a beautiful experience. Um, it was so relaxed and peaceful and calm, and it was, it was for us, uh, it was a time for us, not a time for nurses and doctors and everybody to get involved and Susan was absolutely wonderful and a midwife, sorry. Um, she just stood back and allowed it to be our time and it was just as if no one else was there and, and uh, everything went beautifully. Um, one of the problems with hypnobirthing is that from looking from outside you can't tell when a contraction or a surge is coming. So it's just um, it was just peaceful and you know it was only sometimes just watch her breathing to tell when um, she needs some support. But really, the hypnobirthing process just allows the body to do what it's naturally meant to do. And and includes the dads. Includes the dads in the process. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Includes the dads as well.